Hello everyone, my name is Guo Junjong from Nanjing University. Thank you for your interest and support in our work. Now, let me introduce our paper, Extracting Motion and Appearance via Interframe Attention for Efficient Video Frame Interpolation. Firstly, allow me to provide a brief overview of our work. Effectively extracting interframe motion and appearance information is crucial for video frame interpolation, VFI. However, previous approaches have either mixed the two types of information together or used separate modules for each type, resulting in representation ambiguity and low efficiency. In this paper, we present a novel module that explicitly extracts both motion and appearance information through a unifying operation. Specifically, we are reimagining the information processing mechanisms of interframe attention, exploring its potential for enhancing appearance features and extracting essential motion information. Moreover, to achieve efficient video frame interpolation, our proposed module can be seamlessly integrated into a hybrid architecture, combining both convolutional neural networks and transformers. This hybrid approach can effectively reduce the computational complexity of interframe attention and at the same time, Preserve detailed low-level structural information. The experimental results show that our method achieves state-of-the-art performance on various data sets for both fixed and arbitrary time-step interpolation. Additionally, our approach has a lower computation overhead compared to previous SOTA models. Next, I will provide a detailed explanation of our work. To begin, I will address the motivation behind our research. As a crucial low-level vision task, the objective of video frame interpolation, VFI, is to produce intermediate frames based on a pair of consecutive frames. Essentially, VFI involves capturing the motion between these frames and blending their corresponding appearances together in order to synthesize the intermediate frames. Ultimately, the motion and appearance information that exists between the input frames play a critical role in achieving exceptional performance in the VFI task. When it comes to extracting motion and appearance information, Current VFI methods can be divided into two categories. The first category involves handling both types of information in a mixed manner. This approach entails concatenating two adjacent frames and feeding them into a backbone consisting of similar modules in succession, which generates features with mixed motion and appearance information. Although this is a simple method, it necessitates a well-designed and high-capacity extractor module, as it must handle both motion and appearance information simultaneously. Additionally, the lack of explicit motion information can lead to constraints in arbitrary time-step interpolation. The second approach involves designing distinct modules for extracting motion and appearance information. This method entails incorporating additional modules, such as cost volume, to effectively extract motion information, which frequently results in a significant computational burden. Furthermore, Simply extracting appearance features from a single frame ignores the capturing of the correspondence of appearance information between frames for the same regions, which is a valuable cue for the VFI task. Here we come across a question, is there a module that can explicitly extract both motion and appearance features simultaneously, as shown in the figure below? Next, I will discuss how our proposed model can address the problem we just mentioned. We propose to utilize a novel module. Interframe attention to extract distinguishable motion and appearance information uniformly. Our motivation for using interframe lies in its ability to naturally model interframe motion and transfer appearance information at the same time. An example of how interframe attention acquires motion and interframe appearance is shown below. For the sake of brevity, here we only take the example of obtaining the motion and enhancing appearance information of I0. For any region in I0, we use it as a query in the spatial neighbors in I1 as keys slash values to generate an attention map. As for appearance, we first aggregate the similar appearance information from I1 and then fuse it with I0 to enhance the appearance information in I0. For motion, our approach involves creating a coordinate map and then leveraging the coordinates of neighboring points to estimate their corresponding positions. From this, we can generate a motion vector by subtracting the original position from the approximated one. By reusing the attention map in this way, we are able to extract both types of information using a single module. To demonstrate that the similarity of the same regions between frames can be captured by interframe attention, we compare the optical flow estimated by our trained model with the obtained motion vector. As shown below, Motion vectors indeed maintain a high degree of consistency with the predicted optical flow despite the presence of minor noise, which implies that EFA does have the ability to discriminate different regions and mount can provide a strong prior for motion estimation. 
we incorporated interframe attention in the transformer block as it is shown to be effective in various vision tasks. As seen below, we followed the original transformer design but made two changes to tailor it for the VFI task. Firstly, we maintained the spatial temporal structure of different frames in order to conduct EFA and extract distinctive features. Secondly, to accommodate varying sizes of input frames and enhance interaction between different regions within the same frame, we replaced the original position encoding with a depth-wise convolution in the multilayer perceptron. Directly using interframe attention on original resolution results in huge memory usage and computational overhead. Inspired by some recent works, which combines convolutional neural network with transformer to improve the model learning ability and robustness, we adopt a simple but effective architecture, utilize CNN to extract high resolution low level features and then use transformer blocks equipped with interframe attention to extracting low resolution motion features and interframe appearance features. Our proposed module could be seamlessly integrated into this hybrid pipeline to extract motion and appearance features efficiently without losing fine grained information. Next, I will be presenting the experimental section. For fixed time step interpolation, as shown in figure, our approach achieves state of the art performance on almost all test sets except for the easy set of SNU film, which we attribute the reason to the fact that we did not apply interframe attention to the high resolution features for a balance between performance and speed. As the input size increases, compared to the previous SOTA model, FIFORMER, our model dominates in terms of speed and memory usage, and still maintains better performance. For qualitative comparison, compared to other methods, our model provides a superior estimation of the corresponding location of objects in the intermediate frames in the case of large motions and more favorable maintenance of texture information. For arbitrary time step interpolation, thanks to the explicit motion features that can be used as cues for arbitrary time step interpolation. Our approaches achieve the best performance on all the test datasets. Our model also exhibits better temporal consistency for complex motions in the multi-frame interpolation case, as shown in figure. Finally, I will now delve into the conclusion of our work. In this work, we propose to exploit interframe attention for extracting motion and appearance information in video frame interpolation. In particular, we utilize the correlation information hidden within the attention map to simultaneously enhance the appearance information and model motion. Meanwhile, we devise an hybrid CNN and transformer framework to achieve a better trade-off between performance and efficiency. Experiment results show that our proposed module achieves state-of-the-art performance on both fixed and arbitrary time-step interpolation and enjoys effectiveness compared with the previous SOTA method. Thank you all for tuning in today. If you have any questions, Please feel free to reach out to me at any time.